add two numbers up to a thousand. It's asking us to solve. So let's use our scratch pad. We have 135 plus 108. So 135 is 100, because there's one in the hundreds, plus 30 plus five. And 108 is 100 plus eight. So now we can group this together and say 100 plus 100. And that will get rid of this 100 and this 100 plus 30, because those are my tens, plus 5 plus 8. So now let's add them together. Well, 100 plus 100 is 200. So 200 plus 30 plus 5 plus 8. So 5 plus 8 is 13. So we can say plus 13. So 200 plus 30 is 230 plus 13 is 243. So let's close that scratch pad, type in 243. Awesome job. Now we're gonna solve this one. So this one we have 146. We can solve this one using the standard algorithm if we would like, a new way. 146 plus 101. So we always wanna line it up by place value. So we always start in our ones place. So six ones plus one one is seven ones. Four tens plus zero tens is four tens, and 100 plus 100 equals two hundreds. So the answer would be 247. We have 172 plus 51. We can try to use a standard algorithm for this one too, but it might be a little bit trickier because this one doesn't have hundreds. So we wanna make sure that we line up, the one is in our ones place, so we're gonna line the one up here, and the five is in our tens place, so we wanna line up the five here. So there's nothing in my hundreds place in this number, so we can put a zero if that helps us line it up, and hit plus. So two ones plus one one equals three ones. Seven tens plus five tens equals 12 tens. So I'm going to put a two here, and I'm gonna put the one right here to show that one and two are 12. So then we have one plus zero plus one, which equals 223. Let's close that out, 223. Awesome. Now we have 97 plus 75. We could look at this by breaking apart by place value like we did before. So 97 is 90 plus seven, and 75 is 70 plus five. So we can line it up by place value first. So 90 plus 70 plus seven, plus five, so 90 and 70 would give us 160, and seven plus five would give us 12. So 160 plus 12 equals 172. So let's close out of that, 172, awesome job. Now we have 174 plus 37. Why don't we try to do that with a standard algorithm? 174 plus 37, so make sure to line it up. We have zero in our hundreds place if that makes it easier to put that zero. So four ones plus seven ones equals 11 ones. So we're gonna put a one here 
and a one here because the number 11 has a one in the ones place and a one in the tens place. So that's what we're doing here. We're putting a one in the ones place and a one in our tens place here. So now let's add seven plus three plus one. Well, seven plus three is 10 plus one more is 11. So that's 11 tens. So the same thing's gonna apply. We're gonna put a one here and a one in our hundreds. So one plus one is two. So 211. Great job. Now let's look at 79 plus 96. Let's use our standard algorithm, 79 plus 96. So let's start in that ones place and look at nine plus six. Well, nine plus six is 15. I can't put that in just the ones place, so I'm gonna put the five ones and the one 10 in the tens place. Now I have nine plus one is 10, plus seven is 17. So I'm gonna put a seven here and a one here. Well, there's no other hundreds, so the answer would be 175. Now we have 183 plus 62. A very common mistake that some students will make is they will line it up and make it look like this. But that's not 62, that's 602 tenths. So let's erase that and make sure that we're lining up the place values the right way. So we know that our two is in our ones place and our six is in our tens place. So that's where that number would go. And there's nothing in our hundreds for the 62. So I can put a zero there to make it easier. So three ones plus two ones is five ones. Eight tens plus six tens is 14 tens. So I would put a four and the one right here for 14. And then one plus that one equals two. So 245. Now let's look at 49 plus 124. So 49, and remember we have to line it up by place value, 124. So make sure that our ones are with our ones, our tens are with our tens, and our hundreds are with our hundreds. 49 doesn't really have a hundred here, so we could put a zero. So nine plus four, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, that's 13. So the number 13 has three ones and one 10. Remember, like I showed you before, the number 13 has one 10 and three ones. So that's why we're adding a 10 to the tens place value column. Four tens plus two tens is six tens plus this extra one is seven tens. And now zero hundreds plus 100 is 100. So 173. And now our last one is 125, oh I'm sorry, 104 plus 125. So 104 plus 125. Make sure we're lining it up by place value. And let's start in those ones. Four ones plus five ones is nine ones. Zero tens plus two tens is two tens and 100 plus 100 is 200. So we're looking for 229, which is right there. Last one here, 45 plus 151. So remember, our four, number 45 only has two digits. So we need to make sure that when we line up 151, we're lining them up the correct way. So five plus one is six. Four tens plus five tens is nine tens, and zero hundreds plus 100 is 100, so 196. Great job. Thanks for helping me add two numbers up to 1,000.